Hey, brothers and sisters, I just want to share something with you that uh, I kind of feel like it's just been revealed to me. Uh, maybe this is just kind of like a duh thing for a lot of people, but I feel like I have some new insight on 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. And I've talked about this verse a little bit before. But it says, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. And so, uh, I think that Paul could have been speaking about himself in this. And now, it's wrong to say that Paul says that currently, after he was saved, that he's still the chief, chief of sinners. Okay, that's wrong. But uh, what I mean is that Paul says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. And he says this is a faithful saying. So this is something, you know, that we should say as Christians. I think what he could mean by this is of whom I am chief, he means of who Paul was chief. Okay. Um... So Jesus Christ came, or Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. You know, he even saved Paul. Okay, I think that's kind of what the, uh, maybe what the idea of this is. And we hear that a lot. You've probably heard that a lot in different teachings. That it's like, you know, Paul was a great example of how God is merciful to, to anyone, you know, who wants it. Uh, because Paul persecuted the church. So Paul's a great example of, you know, a radical transformation. And uh, so I think that could be what Paul is saying here. Because he was talking about himself, how I was a persecutor of the church and such. So say that Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners. He even saved Paul. Okay. So uh, maybe that's the right interpretation. I think I kind of want to stick with that. But... Uh, Anyway, the most important thing to, to understand is that Paul's not saying that currently as a Christian that he was chief of sinners or that Christians are to be called sinners or anything like that. Okay, so, but I hope you get what I'm saying, that he could be saying, um, just tell people, you know, that even Paul was saved, even though he persecuted the church. Okay, so thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.